devoted to celebrating America's independence, and a lot of you will be celebrating with fireworks. Cor Harlan shows us some important things to keep in mind that will help prevent turning a celebration into a fire disaster. This morning, Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue firefighters set off some of the fireworks legal in Oregon. In Oregon, there are few, if any, restrictions on where you can use them or when you can use them, unlike in Clark County, Washington. Turns out a good many Oregonians still go north to buy Washington fireworks and set them off back home in Oregon. And that is still a big no-no, says Captain Tim Noakes, illegal and dangerous. We'll have some of our deputy fire marshals actually riding with our local law enforcement partners, and so we'll be out watching for illegal fireworks, and you know, you can be cited and fined, they'll be confiscated, and I think the big thing to Remember too is you can be held civilly liable for any damage you may cause by using those illegal fireworks. Even after all of the admonitions over the years, firefighters say illegal fireworks burning people and property around the 4th of July are still a pretty common source of calls for help. Keep it legal, keep it safe is the motto at TVFNR. That means have a fire extinguisher at hand when lighting fireworks. Soak them in water when the firework canisters are spent because they can smolder and set fires many hours after they've been fired off. Because in Oregon, the, the law basically says that nothing can explode, nothing can fly through the air, nothing can travel erratically across the ground. It's a celebration of independence. Firefighters want to remind people to keep the boundaries of the celebrating within the confines of the law and not burn anyone or anything down in the process of celebrating. In Washington County, Cor Harlan, Point Six News.